welcome to another episode of Tiny Nest. I'm Kiva. And I'm Jake. This series is following our tiny house project from the early stages through to completion and beyond. In this episode, we show how we installed our vapor barrier. All right, so we're coming up just shy of a year since we actually installed this. And the whole goal was to create a vapor tight plastic bag on the inside, the warm side of the insulation. And this will prevent condensation from forming on the inside of the wall cavities. We installed a layer of it under the floor when we put the subfloor down and then we folded it over and built the walls on top of it. So this is what you see here. And now what we're going to do is attach this portion to the pieces that we're putting over the insulation on the walls. There's a couple pieces here just because of the way we had to fold it to get around the wheel well. So I'm just gonna cut it so that it's, we can more easily attach it to the wall. We're using this acoustical seal slash vapor barrier adhesive and we're just running it along the studs and then sticking the plastic up against it. The rolls of poly are nine feet wide and folded in half. So instead of trying to battle a giant piece of flapping plastic, we thought we would make our life a bit easier and measure a section that we needed it for and then we would cut the poly in the garage and then bring it in to fit it to the size of the wall. We made sure that when we were cutting the poly that we had the factory straight edge going horizontal and then we just lined that up with marks that we made on the studs with a level and secured it down with just some thumbtacks and that way we knew that we were starting with a straight and square piece of plastic so as we worked our way down securing it, we weren't dealing with um, any ripples or bubbles or it being off kilter from the corners of the house. After we secured the poly down with the thumbtacks, we pulled the plastic away from the wall and applied the acoustical sealant down the studs. Then we were able to just gently lay the plastic down into place, which kept things from getting messy. For the electrical boxes, all we have to do is get the sheet kind of down in front and then cut around the box. And that's, that's all we have to do for this. And then because it's got this uh, weather stripping around it, when we put the paneling, uh, the wall paneling up against it, it'll make a seal between the back side of this plastic and that foam because it'll be pressed against it. So we don't really need to tape it, we'll just rely on the, uh, the foam to seal that up. For any wires that need to poke through that don't have a box, um, basically we just laid the plastic down in front of it, kind of eyeballed where it needs to come out, made as small as holes possible and then poked the wire through that hole and then we're pretty much left with that. And it's pretty tight around here. We could we could tape it up if uh, if it looks like there's any gap around there. But for the most part, it's it's pretty good, I think. And for the vapor boots, uh, they've got this sort of flange. So I'm going to cut the uh, the poly about halfway along the width of the flange all the way around, and then you'll see how I can then tape it to sort of connect this to this. Okay, and then I'm just going to tape sort of over to make sure that the tape touches both the outer layer and the, the inner layer to make the seal of that seam. So now as far as vapor sealing is concerned, it's just, you know, a, a continuous plane and then there's just a divot in it for this. So when we put the paneling over, we'll just cut open, you know, uh, a hole that we can put a plate on. You'll see when we get to that part, but for now, this is exactly what we need. 
And then for the window, we'll do something sort of similar to how we cut the house wrap away on the outside when we were installing the windows. Um, but I'll start by taking out most of it, um, basically just starting in a bit and cutting a square out. And then I'll just slice up into the corners here. And then I can fold it in like that and tape it to the sides. And that'll make a good seal, you know, so that it's there isn't some gap right here that would be not vapor seal. When we installed the water supply system here, uh, we put it on a three quarter inch piece of plywood, which is screwed into the studs. And the intention is that we were gonna unscrew it to put the vapor barrier, like slip it in behind. So we're at that stage now. Uh, I'm gonna try it. Uh, there's lots of stuff to kind of get around and work around. So this is probably the most finicky spot in the whole house for the vapor barrier. But I'm gonna give it a try and hopefully make the best seal that we can. At the time of filming this, we've obviously installed the loft boards, but we haven't put out a video on it yet. So the one element that I wanted to point out that's applicable to what I'm doing right now is that just the way that the spacing worked out, there's a slight gap between the end or the, uh, the long walls here and the edges of the plane of the loft. And we're gonna deal with that in the end by putting some trim over it. But the reason that it's applicable now is it, it's actually going to simplify the process of getting an unbroken vapor barrier uh, on this wall straight down past this level. So I'll get the sheet up that I've already got pre-cut that's meant for this entire uh, space and then some. And then I'll show you how I'm going to slit it to make some flaps to pass through the gap here. Alright, with the sheet up on the wall and it trimmed down to a workable length here, I'm ready to do the slits like I was talking about. So there's joists right under here. So all I'm going to do is poke this down tight, right down against that joist and make a mark like that. Make sure this is all flush and make another mark. And then I'll elongate the mark a bit so that it's about halfway across uh, the stud here. So that when I go to tape it, I'm taping it to the stud. There, there'll be exposed stud for the tape to stick to. And then I'm just gonna do a rough line. This does not need to be perfect because again, it's just gonna be taped to make the seal. It doesn't need to line up perfectly with something down there. And then I'll cut that out. And then I can just tuck this flap down and I'll do that in every space. In a couple of the spots, including this one, there's a wire uh, and that's gonna be for one of the lights uh, on the underside here for the TV room below. So I will have to make an extra slit to accommodate that. So let's do it right about here. And now when I tuck it down, I can get it around wire there like this
and then that slit that I made, I'll tape back up underneath. So I'm gonna go along and tuck it down and then you can see how this is gonna work with basically an unbroken plastic right past the sort of second floor level here rather than there being you know a break and having to do some extra ceiling step uh, to uh, join the upper loft wall with um, the wall downstairs. So here's what we're left with down here and all I need to do is tape this down, kind of clean it up and then when we put the sheet up for this wall it's just going to come up to about this line and then tape over so that this comes and meets up with that sheet like all these flaps connect to it at this level so we've got an unbroken sheet all the way down here's the other side that's already done you can see the flaps underneath there and then here's the strip of tape that's connecting the whole piece for this wall to the straps and here's the strips that are taping the flaps down so this is what it looks like when it's done initially i didn't do the flap thing on this wall because of the way the joist is sitting right up against the studs here i didn't think it was going to work but then when i got the sheets up i sort of realized i can i can sneak up there but i had already gotten the top and the bottom done just up to here and down to the uh, level of the loft so i've just cut squares of plastic and snuck them down from above and then i've got a little flap down below and so once i've got it taped above and taped down here like this it connects it to the sheet above and below and covers you know basically what's behind the uh the joist here so the only slightly vulnerable spot is basically right where uh the joist is in front of the stud and that's gonna go for all of the joists basically anywhere the joists penetrates through the vapor barrier is kind of hard to seal unless we cocked it which I was kind of hesitant to do so I think what we're gonna do in the end is just use little strips of sill gasket or weather stripping or some kind of foam and lay that in as we're putting either the the paneling or the trim on and kind of stuff it in there to make a bit of a some kind of gasket but for now for the vapor barrier step this little extra flap on this wall is just giving uh, peace of mind. I'm just taking the time to do it so I, I know that everywhere all the way around is as unbroken as possible. All right, the last thing that needs a vapor barrier is the ceiling. And uh, I'm gonna tackle this on my own. I've been doing a lot of this myself just because Kiva's been busy with work lately. So I've been figuring out sort of techniques to manage huge sheets of plastic without it becoming a, you know, a nightmare. Um, so I've got a plan. I'm just going to use pretty much the uh, the same technique, but like in reverse that I used for the walls, which is to just pin one edge of the uh, the sheet in the corner. Uh, I'm going to use the acoustical sealant on there, so I'll get that up. But I'll have to use a lot more pins because the sealant won't um, isn't quite sticky enough, probably to hold the weight of the, the plastic. It'll want to fall down, and that'll be very messy. So. I'll work it up against it and use pins as I go to try to keep it nice and flat. I do want to use the acoustical sealant no matter what though because it is an acoustical sealant so it's supposed to dampen sound a little bit and since we do have a metal roof uh, you know, right above our heads where we're sleeping it could get really noisy with rain so uh, I want to make sure we're putting in as much you know, dampening as possible. And there are other layers in play mostly for other reasons but uh, the layers are there's the metal roof there's the ventilating furring strip then there's the asphalt paper so that's all roofing related but those are all layers you know for the sound to have to travel through and then we've got uh, the plywood and we used subfloor adhesive to stick the plywood down to the uh, roof joists and that subfloor adhesive has a slightly rubbery finish that it sets into so that's also slightly dampening and then uh, this is actually these are furring strips um, furring the ceiling down to create that air gap it's all in the old videos why we did that but adding that acoustical sealant here and then the, the poly vapor barrier and then the ceiling hopefully there's gonna be enough to absorb the sound that uh, it won't be like deafening if it's raining 
right over our heads because we do get a lot of rain here. So we did think of that as we were sort of setting this whole roof to ceiling system up. Okay, I thought I'd start where I've got a loft to work from. Even though it's more cramped, at least I'm up, up on a ladder trying to wrangle a big sheet. Um, the other thing is that this wall, just because I started, you know, at the top of the low wall, this sheet comes across like this. So to cover this area, I'm going to have this sheet for the ceiling uh, two feet longer than uh, the edge here so that it'll come all the way down here and then I can trim it or whatever and attach it to this. So I'm going to make a mark at two feet, start it in the corner, get it uh, pinned up across, and then get it up. Well, I was going to time lapse this, but I appear to have broken uh, the cord on a little time lapse controller thing, so I'm just going to do it and show you what it looks like after, I guess. Ah! Ah! All right, there she is, up, and uh, all taped down. Just gotta do the window, and then um, it's gonna be two more pieces. I'm gonna do the rest in two more pieces, and then that will be it for the vapor barrier. If you wanna see some of our previous videos, click on the preview tiles, and subscribe if you wanna follow our progress. You can also visit our website here. Okay, and oh, that was like really loud. Okay, so I'm gonna put something, I'm gonna do something over there. What am I doing? Oh, okay. That's enough silliness.